All right, guys, uh, we've got a little limited time due to the rain delay. I got to turn around for a plane, so let's jump straight into it. Sam Spencer, let's start with you. Patrick, congrats on the goal. Um, does a goal feel better when you nutmeg the keeper? <laughs> goal is a goal, but you know, if you could get a nice looking one, I'll take it. Um, can you walk us through it? You, you know, it seemed like you were, you and uh, especially Liel were donking on the door for a while. Um, how did you finally break through? Yeah, I mean, Bill got the ball out of his feet and he just made eye contact with me. And I, it kind of took me a little bit to realize what he wanted to do. So once I realized I made the run, he played the ball perfectly. I felt like um, keeper came, um, overcommitted a bit. And I, initially I thought I had a, just a free goal. I saw the guy take a, the tackle and I just, once the ball came back, I just composed myself. I knew he's going to dive back in. So composed myself and just put a ball on frame and I was happily went in. And the finally for me, the you know, the coach just mentioned, um, you know, thought you might have looked a, a little rusty to start. Was it um hard coming back from the red card suspension? Yeah, I mean, you know, missed the missed the game and maybe I wasn't as um initially as smooth with the play and, and it happened sometimes, but it just, you know, I needed time to just get into the game. So yeah, I mean, I, I didn't feel as um I was playing as much as myself as I, I as I know I could, but I mean, I was happy as the, the time went on, I was able to do so. Thanks, congrats, Pat. Thank you. John. Hey, Pat, uh, you mentioned that you made eye contact with Bill before that goal. Was that the only communication you had prior to the goal? We all know he has that long ball in his game. Is that something you were looking for as well after he came on the pitch? Yeah, I mean, we knew that, that, that they played they man marked um in the back end. They played a higher line, and I think that's like ideal for me in positions to make to make um dangerous opportunities. So, um, Bill knows when he knows that he knows I like to make the run. He knows he could play that pass, and I think the whole game we were trying to um get that chance created, but he was able to do so. So I think it was literally just the eye contact. We knew what we we know what we can expect from each other. I know he could play that ball. He knows I can make the run, so we were able to do so. Yeah. And last one from me, you know, you've scored a number of goals now in your career where you're being yanked to the ground as you shoot or your shirts being pulled on like tonight, kind of what's your key to maintaining balance and focus to be able to finish and score amidst that kind of defending? Yeah. I mean, you know, when I'm close to the goal and stuff, I just want to put the ball in the back of the net. So um, I kind of, at times, sometimes I don't even like realize it most of the time. Sometimes when I know I'm getting pulled and stuff, it's like, let me just fight through it. Unless I know it's a clear, obvious foul, then of course I'll go down. But I mean, I see the goal and it's it's that's all ultimately what I want to do. I want to score goals. So when, when I'm near the opportunity, I, I just try to push people as much as possible to create a chance for myself. Awesome. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Nikki. Uh, hey, Pat, I know the team uh, won the ball high up the field a couple times in the first half, wasn't able to to connect to create those chances. You guys got in those same spaces in the second half and, and create a lot of those chances. What was kind of the key in, in you know, playing those balls in the final third to, to be able to create those chances in the second half? Yeah, I mean, we were we wanted to be patient. We knew this team loves to be on the ball. So ultimately, we were trying to be as patient as possible. And when we won the ball, we wanted to counter quickly. It was just literally just making sure our quality is there to do so. And um, you know, at least we're creating chances, but we know that we could be more, we could be more precise with them. And it was good that we were able to at least affect them and, and get shots off. It was good that we got shots off. Leo got a lot of shots off and we were able to capitalize. So yeah, it was good. It was part of the game plan, but we know that we could always do better. Mm -hmm. Um, and then four points from these two games in Ohio against two of the top teams of the league. You guys have been in, in good form for a while now, but what is uh, this run kind of feel like for you all being in this position at this point in the season, especially before uh, uh, the month long break for at least a couple of more game left before that. Yeah. I mean, those are two top teams in our, in, in the whole league, honestly, and to come to, to play, get, play away against these two teams and to get results, it shows the quality of the team we have. And I don't even think we were, in, we were um, happy with our, both of our performances. We knew we could do better. So it shows how good we have and the potential we have. So, it's just all about us focusing and concentrating on the next game and to lead this momentum into League's Cup. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Okay, Steve, we've got time for one more, okay? Hey, Pat. Uh, as far as a clear and obvious foul goes, I used to know what that means, but <laughs> if you know what it means now, please clue me in because uh, <laughs> you seem to clearly and obviously get fouled a number of times that don't get called, and maybe that's just 
your size and stuff, but it, but in other places around the field too. Um, is there an inconsistency in officiating that makes it difficult to uh, to play the game? Um, <clears throat> I think it's better. I think it's getting better. Um, it's it's always going to be difficult, you know, because like ultimately the way I play the nine is it's a, it's a physical game, and I know defenders like to to play that physical game with me. So it's it's always going to be like a 50 50 at times. But I think tonight, I think the ref wasn't was pretty decent with it. I think um he knew what the fouls were and weren't. Um, obviously, every ref misses calls. It's it's part of the game. But um, I think ultimately it's just continuing doing what I can control. I can't really get too frustrated any, anymore about these situations. It's just about the next play and focusing on what I can control. So, yeah, I mean, I was, it's all about working on it. Okay, and uh, you're very good with your feet in close, tight situations and stuff, dancing around the end line, things like that. Is there anything you had done um, just in your your growth as a soccer player? Did you play futsal? I mean, what was that just a natural ability, or did you do things specifically to build that skill? Yeah, actually, growing up, I did play a bit futsal. Um, but I I was I was a wide player when I when I was in college, so I played on the wing a lot and. I, I love the 1v1 situations because of it. So I'm used to it. I'm used to being in those positions. It's just about me just, like, taking my own time. And, yeah, so that's the reason, I think. So you like running at people as well as just past them? Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks. Um, well done. Safe travels home. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Evan.